shadow brushes and face paint brushes um, I hope you guys enjoy and if you do subscribe to my channel and you can see all the things that I post um, yeah and I can show you all my ideas um, now I'm gonna show you how to do this face paint look okay so the first thing I did was take my tag body art face paint and I went ahead and grabbed the white and started outlining my face. So I started with the circles of the eyes and I used a face paint brush, but any brush will do, including makeup brushes. Also, if you were wondering, I use this type of body art paint at work, so I recommend it a lot. And you can see that for the jaws and the gums, I just went ahead and felt out where they were on my face and I went ahead and painted those lines on. Next, I painted the outline of the nose hole and this part is actually kind of hard, but if you just be patient and use a steady hand, you should be able to do it no problem. And here is the outline of the skull face paint mask. Next, I went ahead and started painting all of the empty space with white face paint, and I used a brush to do this instead of a beauty blender because the beauty blender makes it a little bit more watery and I wanted the white to be as opaque as possible. Next, I am taking my black face paint and I am drawing a line on the bottom of the eyeball, and I started out thin and then I went ahead and made it a little thicker. Next, I'm just outlining the bottom of the jaw, and then I started out thin, and then made it thicker, and then I followed the same process for the rest of the skeleton face. Here, I am just extending the mouth, and then drawing the outline of the gum. Next, I am taking my Nude Tude palette and using the Matte Black Color Serious, and I also used Black Out from the Naked 2 palette, and I went ahead and took a teeny fan brush, or a blending brush and started making a line underneath the socket and I pretty much left a little bit of white space and then I just did a black line and blended it out and then I repeated the same exact process on the top of the eye socket where I did the line and then blended it out and to add definition I just went ahead and kind of started contouring the side and top of my forehead with the black eyeshadow after I went underneath the line of the cheek and pretty much just started blending out some black to make it look like it was a mask sitting on top of your face. And taking that same black eyeshadow, I started blending out the top and bottom of the eye sockets. And because we did the lines thick at the beginning, this was kind of hard to do, so it would almost be easier if you just did thin lines and then made it thicker with the blending. Also, I went around the jawline to make it look like it is sitting on your face and then I did the same with the nose and just took a small pencil brush to blend out around the black line of the nose. As you can see, I am just contouring the rest of the jawline on the bottom half and then the chin as well and now I am doing the top of the cheek. And this part's pretty fun. You just go ahead and wiggle your paintbrush and start making cracks all over the skull. Once that is done, I just went ahead and took my black eyeshadow again and I went around the cracks, pretty much just leaving a little bit of white in between. And try not to go too overboard on this part. Next, I drew the dashes for the teeth and just make sure that you pretty much round the edges of the teeth as well to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I took my black again and I started to blend on top of the teeth to make it look like they are actually separate 
from the skull. And once you're done blending, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe to my channel. Oh, well imagine as I'm pacing the pews in a church corridor and